Okay, I want to do a quick video to help you get started if you're using a, a device or a, a pedal that is not air turn pedal. So this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's Monkey, um, made by Donner. So I just purchased this. It's actually a very good pedal. It has really good feel to it. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what it does for right now. So currently I have it to where it'll switch to the next page if you're in a set list. So you click this and you can go from one page to another with your lyrics or you can go back to a page. So if you end up having problems with the air turn, I'm gonna start from, let's say this pedal was having an issue getting connected or if you are starting connected, this will show you how to do it from, from the start. Um, so in the preferences, you gotta scroll down. So I'm opening up the setlist helper main menu and I tapped on preferences. Um, I, so this is version 2.0.24. Previously it said settings. I changed it to preferences to make it match the Android um, devices. So then you scroll down to the very bottom and you click on air turn settings. So you wanna make sure air turns on um, so what I'm going to do right now is forget this air turn. So it's back to square one. So this is what it will look like now. Sorry about that message. Um, you know, this is what it'll look like before you do anything. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings of, of the Apple device, the iPad, and you can see Bluetooth music pedal. And I'm going to forget this as well. So now you can kind of see that this device is blinking rapidly. Yours may or may not do that. Um, and then you can shut it on or off to, to, to help you with that. So it takes a second for this device to get discovered by your iPad. Hopefully it'll happen soon. There it is. So it shows up there. And you can see that it's blinking rapidly. I'm going to click the Bluetooth pedal. And I'm going to connect it and then I'm going to, so I double click the, the button if you still have that on your iPad. I'm going to go back to Setlist Helper and again, go open the main menu, tap Preferences, scroll all the way down. The last option there is Air Turn Settings. You want to make sure that's turned on and you want to say Add um, key, Keyboard Air Turn. So the air turn pedal has a special mode where it doesn't override your keyboard, but since you're not using air turn, you want to use keyboard direct. So now that that's set up, I can go, you can look at your uh, preferences too. If you're using the two pedal version, pedal one is, is this one, the one that says previous lyrics. Then pedal three is, is this pedal on, on the two pedal version. So I have it set up for previous and next lyrics. So let's go into a set list. I'll click into this first song, and there you go, it's working, back and forth. Previous lyrics, if you go back to it and look at the preferences, I'm gonna change the this one. This is the, configure, the configuration that I like, so I have the first pedal as next lyrics, and then have the second pedal as scroll down. You can do all the various configurations here, but I'll just demonstrate this real quick. Go into a set list. First song was scrolling down, you can see it there. And then once it gets to the bottom, it's gonna to go to the next lyric. So it's kind of like doing the best of both worlds. It'll scroll down, once it gets to the end, it'll go to the next lyric. This particular song doesn't scroll, so this one will scroll. And I just wanna show you one other thing with the scroll mount and the preferences. And you can change how much um, the scrolling happens. So if you wanted to scroll a full page, that's good for like if you're using PDFs, you can change the amount of scrolling that it does. So you can see it scrolled significantly more. So there you go, scrolling with non-air turn devices.